Hi and welcome to My City of Rain, the place where non-technical founders build successful startups by improving their tech management skills. I'm Amory and today I'm going to answer a question from Ahmed, the co-founder of an e-commerce startup. His question is, how do I convince investors and raise funds without a CTO? Before answering this question, let's add a bit of context. Ahmed is working with a freelancer to develop his e-commerce solution. He wants to raise funds to help the business grow. But investors do not consider his project because he don't have a technical co-founder. Building a tech startup indeed required a lot of technical development. And if you don't have the technical skills yourself, it's difficult to rely on developers or providers to control what is developed and above all, to really understand if it's relevant or not for you. To help Ahmed move forward, let's analyze the situation. An investor is someone who wants to avoid risks. So let's talk about these 10 risks investors have when it comes to invest in a tech startup without a CTO. So the first one is to give the money to someone who is not aware of the tech challenges. Then the founder might not consider correctly the technical complexities in the prioritization. He might also not be used to manage developers or mismanaging providers correctly, as well as not choosing the right technologies or even being mislead by your developers or by your providers. He might also not be able to recruit new developers rapidly for the growth. And another pitfall to avoid is to having a non-scalable solution and not knowing how to improve it, or simply being dependent on only one developer. Or finally, not being able to identify technological opportunities. That's a lot, right? And that's why investors, incubators, startup accelerators, and grants organizations are much harder to crack without a CTO. They just make their decision out of real startup experience. So take seriously these risks into considerations. And more than just being able to raise funds, what is important is to be efficient as a tech manager for the well-being of the business. And here is what investors are looking for to prove just that. The first option that I see time to time is when founders convince developers to work for equity. In fact, in this case, the risks are still very high, since the founder and the developer often ends up misunderstanding each other, which unfortunately leads to a conflict. So with this option, you have to be 100% transparent with your developer and excel at tech management. It's an option worth looking into because you might get a first draft in just a few months. And this can definitely help you raise funds. And these days, investors are much more impressed by the team itself than by your first product. But still, having some achievements can help a lot. The second option, which I highly recommend, if you don't have a technical co-founder, is to have someone able to provide you an expert and objective guidance for your startup. Someone who has worked with lots of startups, someone that will just be paid for his guidance and not out of the decision to be made. For example, avoid CTOs that has developers to feed or that are willing to redirect you to one technology over another because they just are better at it. And then, once you have the right person, the next step for you will be to shape your roadmap. And that will be the backbone of your project, showing what technologies you will use for the prototyping phase to the growth stage. And to help you get there, you have, of course, my technical plan template that helps you present the roadmap and convince investors or incubators. And in few words, the goal of these templates is to gather the project's secret sauce, the project's vision and ecosystem, the customer experience, the roadmap, the budget and required resources, and the innovative technologies to be used. So now to conclude, if you do not have a technical co-founder or a CTO, the best option to establish your tech company the safe way is to find someone you can count on, whether a provider or a consultant, to guide you towards the right technologies the right developers' profiles and providers and being able to help you build your roadmap to show to investors. And if like Hamed, you have a specific question for your project, just go ahead and ask on myctofriend.co slash ask. I will do my best to answer your questions by videos or to redirect you to existing content that will answer it. And also be sure to go through our other courses at myctofriend.co to learn more from real startup growth experience and better manage your startup development. Waiting for your question, I look forward to seeing you in other videos. Cheers.